So what is my thoughts about the Kingsong S22 or Kingsong S20 against the Kingsong S18 that I own, but I basically don't ride? <laughs> what they have done better here than on the other one? And also, what is the mistakes that they just have repeated on the Kingsong S22? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are not going to talk about the Emotion V12 high torque, but if you are curious, definitely check that other video. We are going to talk about the Kingsong S22 that I have reviewed on the channel and I really like it, but I simply hate it also in a certain way. Do I recommend you to buy this wheel? For now, I have to say, don't buy it. I think they have to figure it out few things. Another wheel that, as I put it out two years ago, was the king of off-road, but was a very, very boring wheel. Using it on the city, it's really, really boring wheel. It's, it's definitely not enjoyable as the V11. It's not enjoyable as using an MSP, obviously. It's too short. And I will never recommend you to really push hard on this wheel because you have really, really big probabilities to have a cutoff with this wheel. This wheel, the S18, is impossible to be a powerful wheel because you, you continue to have the same motor that you had on the Kingston 16X with a smaller battery. And like we talked yesterday, Afez, it's impossible that they can have the same performance that you have on the 16X. Otherwise, you had already problems of shutdowns with the, the Kingston 16X. So they had to cut on the motor. Even if the motor is the same, the delivery is not the same. But if you try to ride like you ride the 16X, you are going to say hello to the floor much, much sooner then then later if it makes sense i still have it but since i receive it i didn't do too many miles on this one this one have only 370 miles yeah if you are interested to purchase and you are in the uk leave me a comment on instagram but this wheel is been very very limited in my opinion and uh, they've done a lot of mistakes with this one after you have two screws on the sides here on the corners and uh, once again we can see the lack of quality on the screws because i had the same issue with the 16x so the screw basically is start to come apart it didn't came off and i really hate how sharp is these corners you are going to start damaging this on the real environment where this wheel fits first of all let's go with the changes and where they make it better on the Kingsong S22 and what is worse compared to the older brother. So when we look to the front light, they they have these very cheap materials and they continue to have exactly the same approach. Because this is a piece of plastic and after you have an opening on, on beneath and after you have the light. So it means that all the dust is going to accumulate on beneath this piece of plastic. When you look to the S22, the plastics here, they are very, very poor. I used to have also a Kingsong a 16x and those plastics they were much much better at least the outside when we talk about the inner shell was really really weak and just riding normally without doing jumps and etc and even no power pads on that wheel they start breaking after a few kilometers i have to say that when i was taking out of the box i was like whoa it looks much better than adam or others they were saying but since after you come much closer you start noticing that adam and others they was right so the plastics, in opposites, for example, if I compare even with the 16X, that the inner shell is rubbish, but the out shell is super, super strong. And when you start hitting this, this is pure plastic, man. It's really, really low quality, okay? So in the 16X, it's just more on the top that you can feel that the plastic is more flimsy, but this is all over the place. So definitely not, not the best. But the front light here is very, very poor material and the same happens with the Kingsong S22. When we look to these lights, obviously you can change the angle and I have to say that this feels very, very cheap. It's like going to a Chinese store and changing. When we talk about the handle, it's 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 okay it's not too too bad it's also inferior on the s18 compared to the 16x so let's talk about the handle and i have to say that that was the first moment that i started getting disappointed with 
the S18. It's one of my favorite handles that answer to us that the handles that we have on electric unicycles, they are normally really, really bad. But this is one of my three best handles. First place, 16X, second place, V11. And this one comes in third place, in my opinion, because it's really, really flimsy. But I didn't really like it, the handle on the King Song S22. I feel that this one is better. When we talk about this handle to walk with your electric unicycle, I have to say to you guys that, yeah, it's, it's really sturdy, or it feels sturdy, because I've seen already online, some of them, they breaks around. This doesn't have a button to lock in place. So many times you are just walking and this closes. it. So if you want to walk with this trolley handle, you can't walk like this because it's super hard to maneuver. So you always have to put the heaviest part of your wheel, that is where is the suspension on the front, and you can ride it. But when you are just walking, this sometimes close it, like you can see, and you have to pull it back up. So definitely not the best design, but it's quite sturdy, as you can see. So not the best, but not the worst, but also not really convinced with it. And it's more ergonomic, even where it is, I can't just push it from the front or I can push it from the back without a problem. So definitely a pro in there when we look a little bit lower we are going to find the tire and definitely this tire was not the best option from king song because when you look to the king song s18 this wheel is definitely made for off-road even if you don't go super super fast but this wheel was quite comfortable if you go around 40 kilometers this wheel is a niche wheel it's not a wheel that you want as a main wheel in my opinion okay you want this wheel to go off-road and enjoy off-road and i have to say it's the king of off-roading i could reach 44 kilometers on this wheel and i know because of the beepings without the problem i was flying hitting all the holes because if it's a big hole and a big change on the floor because the wheel responds in a slower way than the v11 i can definitely go super super fast off-roading with this wheel so the limitations of the wheel you don't feel it so much and in that time I felt that was the wheel that I could just go faster in off-road, even with this tire, but I needed a floor that was quite, quite dry. If it was slightly muddy, this tire, it's a no-no. Definitely it's not a tire that you want to use when you go to make some off-roading. So when you go on the grass with this one, you can feel that you start losing the grip, and if you go on mud, forget it. It feels that you are in ice. Yeah, not the best decision when I think that this wheel is an off-roading wheel. They have improved in there. In the beginning, I have to say to you guys that I simply hated this tire, but now I really like it. But if you was trying to bring that wheel to the city, was definitely not the best. Suspension, if it makes sense, is so slow that on the city you almost don't feel it. What I'm saying with this is when you are riding with the V11, you definitely feel that you have a suspension compensating that butthole on the floor. So if it's small holes, you feel it. And it's really enjoyable to have that sensation on beneath your feet. When you are on the city with this, you don't feel it. You feel it obviously that is reducing that there when you was passing with another wheel, it was quite noticeable, but because this suspension reacts slowly, I don't feel really the benefit. When we talk about acceleration and braking, that was a big problem on the King Song S22. The braking on that wheel, definitely not the best. And the acceleration also, if you didn't change the pedals to the front, the pedal was from the other side. Now that is a little bit more in front, I can accelerate better. And that made a lot of difference just riding with it. But still, I was definitely not enjoying this wheel. And the braking in here is, is not a problem at all, is is much, much better. And one thing that they've done much better on the King Song S22 compared to the S18 is definitely the comfort, because this wheel is definitely not ergonomically made for comfort. It's always been quite uncomfortable. Obviously, I get used to it after a while. Another thing just to talk about these pads. Yes, they are much bigger than the old ones, but they are super uncomfortable. So you just feel comfortable if your leg is basically bending in front. So if you are like accelerating, since you come back to a normal position, you don't have comfort because this part it digs in on your leg. From all the wheels that I have, this is the most uncomfortable wheel that I received. Definitely not the best, but when we look a little bit lower, the pedals in here, they are 
in my opinion, very, very poor quality. Another thing is all this bottom part. It seems like plastic, also not really durable. So just to point it out, you should start breaking sooner or later. And on the King Song S22, they were much, much better. We will talk about the pedals. They are okay. They are not bad at all, but in the same time, if I could, I will change to something a little bit better because all these spikes, they are going to disappear after a while. You can change the angle of this. I really don't like the rubbers here on the pedals because I had to cut one of them because one of them was not opening properly. This rubber here is definitely not the best because if I close it and I try to open, as you can see, I struggle to open. So I have to heat down to fit it once again. So definitely not the best design, but it works if you want to hit a bit. When we look to the suspension in here, also was a massive upgrade. And for me on the King Song S22 was the best suspension that you could have. But this suspension is far the best suspension that you have on the market. And when you go off-road with the S20, you really enjoy this wheel. But in both situations, in my opinion, are the one of the wheels they are more customizable and obviously also if you think about the um, the big god hero also you could put a better suspension in there but this one was definitely the first one that will allow you to put a third party suspension in here but i simply love it the suspension on the king song s22 when you disassemble the suspension to drop this down all this structure goes down and when that happens you understand that the suspension goes on this rail here on the inside. So as you can see guys, this is the part where the suspension goes up and down. But it gets full of mud. And obviously after a while you are going to start having issues. It's not going to slide as well as before. Overall I feel that the King Song S18 was more well thought than the King Song S22. For example, even the Q switch. When we talk about the kill switch, I really like it, okay? It works quite well, but it just happened what I don't like it. The kill switch, it works quite fine. It's very easy just to open and close without a problem. And straight away, you lose the balance. I just felt my fingers, they get stuck on the, on the wheel. And if you try to lift it up, it's going to basically <laughs> put your hand against the wheel and this handle. So definitely not the best experience and not the best design. You have space to put your hand, something that doesn't happen on the King Song S22. And obviously when we talk about range, it's not even comparable. The King Song S22 is going to give you double range than the S18. So in 2022, do I recommend you to purchase the King Song S18? I have to say to you guys that I will never buy this wheel. <laughs> Uh, I'm selling it, I know, but I will never buy it. When I've done my review, I said that I was going to keep it and I keep it until today. But I found myself never wanting to ride it because I felt that the times that I was riding this one is when I wanted to ride my Emotion V8F. For a long time that I was not riding so, so slow. And I have to say to you guys that the sensation that I can take out of this wheel on open road is very similar than I can take with the Emotion V8F. This one is basically double the price. It's something that you have to have in consideration when we talk about joy riding a wheel. This wheel you can safely ride at 40 kilometers, 42, 44 max, okay? And I have the tilt back at 46. A wheel that costs almost 2,000 pounds is the wheel that I want to ride just to go to the supermarket. I don't think so. And um, this wheel is heavier than my V8F. I really found myself not really enjoying that part. And that is another thing that I, I hate about this wheel is to adjust the suspension because you need to put a brick here to be able to adjust the suspension. It's like a nightmare. Definitely the suspension that you have on the King Song S22 is so much better because it's much, much easier for you to adjust and do whatever you want. When we talk about the suspension, I was saying it's simply amazing, but also it's not a King Song product, okay? When we talk about the suspension, it's so easy just to rotate this and change the settings. And obviously you have the other valve on the bottom that also is very easy to adjust once again. So no need of pumps 
to just change the settings of this suspension, something that I really like. So if you have a Kingsong S18 and you jump to a Kingsong S22, the acceleration I prefer on the Kingsong S22, then this one, this one, you continue to have a lot of movement on your pedals in a certain way. You always go up and down and is a bit weird. But if you go to the King Song S22, the acceleration is better in my opinion, but after to brake is like a nightmare. First reactions, I have to say to you guys that these small changes that I've done makes this wheel feel so much better, man. All the holes, it seems there is nothing, it just flies. And now I don't have problems to accelerate and even to brake is not fantastic, but it's so much better because now, because the center of gravity is lower, I can just kick a little bit on the side, so it's easier even to just slightly curve with it. Something that was not possible to do with the original configurations that you had on the S20 or S22. So have that in consideration. So this is just my quick thoughts about the Kingsong S18 against the Kingsong S22. Let me know your thoughts. What is your opinion about these two wheels? Do you think that is an upgrade to go from this one to the S22? Or do you think that you continue to stick to this one that is more compact and lighter and easier to do some tricks than with the Kingsong S22? My name is Marco, this is Madpack. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash a thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one.